Well, let's address the elephant in the room. Or the chair in the room. Oh, my chair? No, Hannah. The other bright purple chair. You noticed? Oh my god, that's so nice. I do have a new chair, thank you so much. I wasn't sure if you would notice. Well, this week is a very, very big week for us. And this chair is a hint. It's part of it. And we're not going to tell you anything more about that. We're just going to let you simmer on that idea. Yep. What to this aggressively purple <laughs> chair be very important for for something this week? Wow. I'm really happy with it because it's so comfortable. I bought it yesterday with my mom. <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, like it's... It's a throne. I've got a couple pillows on it. It's bizarre looking. We saw it in this secondhand furniture store and all of the other furniture in the store is like regular. And then we saw this purple chair and we were like, oh my God, that's the perfect chair. That's the one. That's the one. And then we had to go find an employee and tell them like, this is the chair we want to buy. And then we had to carry it out of the store. We must have had to say, excuse me to 50 people. And all of them, I was like, they're probably thinking like that girl has really weird taste in she furniture. She has the worst taste. What does her house look like that she walked in here and needed this chair? It was very <laughs> inexpensive, probably because it had been there a while, but I love it. And it's so comfortable. It's amazing. So eventually you'll find out what this chair was all about. Yeah. But today it's being used for Monday Drug Bag. Oh, yes it is. We have our questions right here. Do you want to do your spiel or this should we just... Jump in. It's the weekly series oh. where we answer all of your most variant questions. Okay. Monday grab bag, Monday grab bag, Monday grab bag. You're really doing your spiel. Put your questions below. Maybe we'll get to them next week. All right. We have some fun ones today. Yeah. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. All right. Question number one. When you have children, which one of you will most likely be the disciplinarian? Ooh, that's I have a... my opinion. I'm curious what you think. I think that I am going to be less of the disciplinarian. I think you're going to be more of the disciplinarian. That's not good because I had the opposite answer. Oh, no. So <laughs> it's like I think you'll be. We have some talking that we need to do. <laughs> but I, I think that I will be, I'm a much more nervous person. Like I'm always annoying Hannah by being like, oh, careful, or, yeah. oh, Chloe's a little bit close to the water, or, you know, anything, yeah. like, I'm very... So we really need to work on that so you don't instill anxiety in our children. Yeah, I don't want to instill fear in them. Yeah. Watch out! Oh, hold on! <laughs> oh, yeah! But I, I worry that, like, you know, because of that, I might be a bit more disciplined than I need yeah, to like, be, you don't know? Do that. Like, don't go near the hot oven. I know? just, you, so my thought process was just that, like, you are really good at communicating. And so I figured mm. that if there is a discussion that needs to be had, yeah. I feel like you are, you would be good at yes. saying what needs to be said in, like, in a funny way, in a yeah. nice way. Like, I don't think either of us are planning on harsh discipline. <laughs> it's probably like a military. Yeah, it's, not, <laughs> it's not military stuff. I think you're really good at getting points across. And I think the most honest answer is that, like, we're going to do all of that together. We're yeah. going to make decisions about what requires discipline yeah. together. It's not like I'm going to be like, no, don't yell at them. Yeah. And haters going to be like, no, I'm disciplining. Like, we're going to agree on things. <laughs> no, I'm disciplining. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Okay. I have to say, this next question is so good. I've, I don't they know are all ever, good. Yes, but I don't know if I've ever heard this question asked. It is unique. And I'm going to steal it. Like if I ever need to ask <laughs> a question in an interview, whatever, whatever we're doing, I am going to use this question. So, so sorry if you didn't want that to happen. But it's now, a compliment. It's, now it's my question. What do each of you spend a lot of time thinking about that would surprise us? Very thoughtful. That's a really, really good question. Um, Hannah and I spent a while trying to come up with this answer. Yeah. I, mine's actually related to what I just said. Uh, if you've read my second book, um, you'll know that there was an incident probably six, seven years ago, five, six years ago, where a neighbor with dementia attempted to break into my home like eight times while I was home alone. And he didn't know that this was a neighbor with dementia. That was found out after the fact. Yeah. It was just a random man. Yeah, so a man tried to break into our home while I was the only one there many times. And that left me with 
I think trauma, yeah. um, because ever since then I've been very, very conscious about safety and like noises around my house. And yeah. um, so in day to day life, I don't like it, but I spend a lot of time analyzing the safety of my situation. Yeah, odds are when I walk up to Shane's computer, he has our security cameras open just in case. And just, I'm like, I make fun of him, I shouldn't, because like, poor you. Just keep it I'm like, eye. oh, you checking the cameras again. Like, <laughs> I don't like it. Nothing. I, I probably need to talk to someone about that. Yeah. Um, but that's what I spend a lot of time thinking about that you may not know. Yeah, and then for me, I think in general, uh, I will think about social situations that have happened, like conversations, interactions, for long after they have finished, even if they were so minor, like even if it's one at the grocery store from like a random person, I'll think about it for like days afterwards and be like, was that weird of me? Like, was that rude? And Hannah's so carefree in so many other ways, yeah. but not this one. Like nope. we'll do a speaking engagement and then three weeks later, out of nowhere, she'll be like, you remember? when I like took that extra breath in between <laughs> those two sentences, do you think the audience noticed? Did they, did they think that weird? Yeah, and I've been thinking about it for those three weeks and then finally I'm like, I should ask someone. <laughs> so yeah, I think that that's my, that's what I spend a lot of time thinking about. All right, next question. I was wondering, do you have a special bed to help with positioning at night? Oh, we have a very special bed. No, it, I mean, our bed's not medical or Yeah, no, adaptive. it's a regular bed. It's a regular bed. But boy, oh boy. Is it the best bed in the it's world? It's the comfiest bed. It's a LOL, L-U-L-L mattress. We did a brand new for them like a long, long time ago. We did it in our first house when we first moved in. So that was two years ago. And we have been loving that mattress ever since. Oh my God. This is God. not a brand new at all. If you are in the market for a new mattress, it's very, it's firm. So like I lay in my stomach when I sleep a lot of the time and it holds, like if I'm in a soft bed, my back will hurt because I'm like concave. It's very firm. And yet, pillowy soft on top. Because I'm like the princess in the pea, yeah. where the tiniest little thing will keep me awake all night. But this, I somehow... Because he sleeps on his side. Which... Sink into a perfect, yeah, it's... supported, comforted, yeah. and my brittle little bones don't ache at all. Yeah. I do have a variety of pillows that we put like under my head, obviously. Yeah. Between my knees, behind my back sometimes. Um, in hotels, we'll put one behind your back because you'll slump, but yeah. not in our home bed. But that's the extent of the like, adaptation yeah. that we do. Man, it's a great mattress. Yeah. We always like we talk about it all the time. That's one we of do. our conversation topics. Is we're like, our bed is amazing. Whenever we're traveling, we're like, just think about going home and getting into our bed. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the best bed. Okay, uh, what do you use for skin? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I missed a word. I'm so sorry. What do you use for your skin as far as body wash and lotion? It says that it's for me. This is for Hannah. Not a bad question for Hannah. Skin. Yeah, well, you're working on your skin. Um, body wash and lotion. A lot of people in the last video were saying that you had very nice skin. Oh. So I think people are wondering what your routine is. Yeah, well, to... body wash is just whatever we have. Random. <laughs> Literally. Literally random. She's like, never I bought the set. same one. I have no set routine with body wash or lotion. I'm still looking for my perfect body lotion. Um, for face lotion, I'm also, I found a couple that I really like. I don't know the names of any of them. Like, I'm never going to find them. They're like the heavy duty. I, like I like a cream. I like a heavy duty face lotion. I don't want it to be like Cerebe. watery. Cerebe. No, I don't like that one. Oh. That's a good body one. That's the only one I remember. That's the one you like. Cerebe. It's not thick enough for me. Like, I yeah. like it to go on really thick. There's that one that's like Roche Posay or whatever. That's all to the perfect. I know, but I swear it's. I don't know if we need to find the names right cream. now. Hold on. I will because I really like that one and I need to buy it again. Yeah, La Roche Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. I love that one. Oh, it goes on like almost white. It's so thick. But anyway, I, um, I don't really wash my face as regularly as I should. However, today I just showered. My hair's wet. And I used, I used to get um, the Ipsy bags, and so I would get like samples of things, and I used an exfoliating face wash, and it was Sounds like- Sounds horrible. No, 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 you would love it. No, it's not that It was the tiniest, either. it was like barely exfoliating, it wasn't like big, it was incredible. I got out and I was like, oh my god, my skin looks really good. 
close up in the wow. mirror, I was like, oh my God, wow. it actually did something to my skin and I don't know what it did. I've only used it once. So if I use it, if I break out in a horrible rash, I'll let you know that I actually changed my mind and I hate it, but I loved it. Should I go get it? it no, it did get rid of all your little- But I need to tell them what it is. Your little pustules. I'll just, I'll just write it in. I'll put it on the screen like what it is. <laughs> Yeah, put a little screenshot. I'm it. ignoring you about the pustules, by the way. All right, this next one's a really fun one. You're if you still have on this long through through that three hour uh, monologue about face things, you're in for a treat right now. Here we go. Have you guys ever thought about doing an ASMR video? Your voices relax me so much when you're speaking in quieter tones. So I read this question. Stop looking now. Don't I look. read. I saw the beginning of the first okay. sentence and I almost died. We have talked about doing an ASMR video, just for fun to be funny, whatever. Hannah does have a very soothing voice, so I agree with you there. You. It says your you, both of your voices. I appreciate voices. that. I read it as a they like you. No, your voices relax me so well, much. Well, thank you, but I hate my voice, so <laughs> I'm not going to be doing ASMR. What I thought would be great is I wrote up a paragraph. And now we are going to see if Hannah can read this to you in her best ASMR voice without laughing. No, I, I can't because I saw the first sentence and I cannot. You have to try. I'm going to try, it's but I'm going to laugh through the entire thing. All right, and all of you at home, play along. You have to listen and not laugh. Tell me if you accomplish it. We'll see if I Should was... I get close to the microphone? Yeah. I think so I can do ASMR? Uh-huh. Okay. Make sure your face is in. Why? I don't know. So they know if you're laughing. Oh, I'm going to kneel. There I'm kneeling. Go. Okay. Well, this is nice to All be right. so close. Nice, Mr. Okay. No laughing. I hope you can hear me. Written by Shane, performed by Hannah. Okay. It's focused. Oh, it's focused. On don't let this bit. Like, actually talk. Why? I don't know. Like this? You might not be able to hear it. Okay. I think you can hear it. All right. Like, here we go. I'm right here. Okay. I'll talk All right, like this. All right. Put me to sleep with your ASMR. Okay. I just need to zone out so I don't actually yeah, know what out. I'm saying. You got it. <laughs> All right, I win. Okay. <laughs> I won't laugh. I'm just going to sit here and stare. There we go. <laughs> you are a crumpled... Oh, this is going to take forever. Yeah, Shane, ah. why did you write this? It's... Okay. You are a crumpled baby. Wrapped tightly... <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Do you want me to do it? No, I'll do it. Wrapped tightly in the cozy warmth of soupy prenatal fluid. Your heartbeat is barely the flutter of butterfly wings. Your mouth quivers a yawn through tiny tadpole fish lips. Your toes a row of ten perfect blueberries. <laughs> Even I laughed a little bit. <laughs> Fresh for the picking and nibbling. Peace overwhelms your precious infant soul. Until suddenly, and all at once, <laughs> you begin to slide south, <laughs> suffocating pressure. <laughs> this is a birth scene? What in the world is Just wrong with you? continue. You're taking them out of the ASMR. I'm so sorry. They were dozing off. Clawing, yanking, twisting, a nightmare boiled down to its rawest form, chaos, frenzy, panic, white hot needles beneath the skin, no, you didn't read it right. white hot light needles beneath Try the again. skin, white hot white needles oh, beneath the skin, white hot light, well needles is also a noun so that's confusing, it's literary, flesh dragging on the ocean floor and then like a supple gourd forced through a swollen nostril, you explode forth into the world, evil disguised as innocent beauty. You and you alone know the secret. You alone know you've been here before. And this time, there will be a blood price. Happy Halloween. What in the godforsaken world was that? <laughs> What was that? Would you like to explain your thought process behind the post, behind that? I thought it would be nice to take your stereotypical ASMR, you know, your baby, you're enveloped in warmth, and 
turn it on its head. Really. I've never heard anyone with AS, like doing ASMR be like, you were a baby enveloped in warmth. I took the, the ideas of ASMR, comfort. Comfort. Warmth. And you just ruined and it. And I, I wanted to make it horror. <laughs> I wanted to make it a nightmare. So that's what I did. Well, that was not my best effort of ASMR because I was reading something bizarre. Yeah, that's the point. I hope you enjoyed it. I just know if you enjoyed this game. Jesus. Because I really enjoy writing <laughs> them with the air has to read. Well, we could always do that not in ASMR. We could just do it in a regular voice because you do write really interesting things Thank like you. this. About horror birds. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, Two more. Are either one of you ticklish? And if so, where are your most ticklish spots? I can make her writhe yeah. by poking her sides. Yeah. Like just armpit sides. A little thumb in or like the feet. Thumb into the armpit. She's Anything. Done for. And then Shane, also <laughs> armpit. And then also like on lower ribs. Like side his sides yeah. basically. I do think that I can mentally overcome it. Yeah. If I choose to. Yeah. Like Which I is can, always annoying. Yeah, and I, I love doing that when she's like, I'm gonna pick you I'm like Yeah. Doesn't feel like anything. So but hey, you can't. No. You can't, cannot overcome it. Nope. I cannot at all. All right. How long were you dating before you had your first fight? You seem to have good communication. Was it always like that or was it a learned skill? It was not a learned skill. I mean, I'm sure over the course of our lives, it yeah. was. Lives? Our lives. He's uh, an amazing writer. But like when we met, one of the things that really stood out to us was how little we disagreed yeah. and how we didn't argue about anything. Yeah. How long was it? Or Our like... first fight was in person together. Like we were long distance at the time, but I was, we, we were together and we were on a road trip. It was uh, a year and a half into our relationship. A year and a half Yeah. before we had any kind of a And that fight argument. was the fight that we've talked about that was about whether football or swimming was harder. Yeah. And it was, a, it was like, that sounds funny. It was not funny. It no. was a, true fight. It was, the fight was about that in the beginning, but then it devolved yeah. into like, you know, why do you care so much about this? Like, yeah. It became about other things. Yeah. But, silly reason to begin a fight. Uh-huh. A, a year and a half. Yep. Can't believe that. Pretty good. And since then we fight almost constantly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. oh, I love my chair. Uh, all right. Have a good chair. We have a very busy week coming up. Hope you all have a wonderful week. Yes. We'll be back soon. Yep. Bye. Goodbye.